thank you for the opportunity to, uh, to share with you some comments just from myself personally. My name is Myrna Ballard, and I practically live at 416 North Ashley Street, which is the Valdosta Lowndes County Chamber of Commerce. My comments today, uh, the operative word is commerce. Uh, I really would like to, to encourage you to consider uses for the beautiful old historic Lowndes County Courthouse that will help to encourage commerce in our downtown area. Uh, Dr. Noel was very, very um, eloquent in explaining my thoughts on the matter, which are um, the use of our beautiful courthouse as a magnet, uh, a center of energy and activity that can result in Lots of people downtown doing business with our local restaurants and our businesses in downtown Valdosta. Uh, and the, and the uh, revitalized energy that you feel in a downtown which has perhaps a, a small business incubator located in downtown as one example. Another example might be the activity and the energy that would result from having university classes or technical college classes in the, uh, in, the, in the building downtown. Our chambers worked for the past 10 years on those projects and initiatives that can result in attracting young professionals to stay in Valdosta once they've completed their degrees at Valdosta State University or Wiregrass Georgia Tech. Uh, the idea of creating a, a business incubator where knowledge-based businesses can get their start and be nurtured uh, in, a, in an environment like a downtown Valdosta, I think has a great deal of potential for us. Um, I do have, and I know our chamber board does, have a great deal of confidence in the, the um, decisions that this committee will make and the recommendations that you'll make to our county commission. And if there's anything that our Chamber of Commerce can do to assist you as you're making your, your recommendations, please feel free to call on us. And thank you for the opportunity to speak today. Thank you, Marta. Any questions from the committee? Uh, Marna Zaha Biden yesterday mentioned his business incubator yes, uh, idea too. Mm -hmm. First, first time I'd ever really heard of that yes. particular concept mm -hmm. expressed that way. Mm -hmm. Real interesting sort of concept. Yes, yes, sir. You know, a, 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 business, a small business incubator is about growing knowledge-based businesses. It's not about small retail shops. It's not that. It's uh, the opportunity to help incubate. How, how would it? How great would it be if we could incubate about 30 Azalea Healths? That's Baja Zidane's business. He created that, that he and his partners created that business in 2008 with three uh, employees. They now have 50 employees, most of them uh, college or university graduates. What if we could incubate and grow about 30 businesses just like that in our community? Thank, Thank you. you. Yes, Thank you. sir. Marna. Yes. Uh, how, how is that structured? Uh, how, how would a business incubator uh, program be funded? It, it could be, a, uh, in many cases, it is a public entity um, uh, that, that are, perhaps it's connected with the university in the community. Perhaps it's connected to the technical college. One of the most successful incubators is in Carroll County, and it's a private uh, incubator that is owned and operated by the Carroll County Chamber of Commerce. It's, it's much more than just inexpensive space for a business to get started. That certainly is part of it. Uh, but it is also the services that come with that shared office space, a shared receptionist, shared office equipment. You'd probably provide complimentary space to a young lawyer, for example, in exchange for that lawyer providing legal assistance to all of the young tenants in the building. Probably do the same thing with an accountant. Uh, the Small Business Development Center would probably have uh, regular hours there. Perhaps we'd move our Seeds Business Resource Center into the building so that the, all of the services that we offer through the Seed Center could be available uh, you know, just down the hall. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank, Thank you. Me. Dr. McKinney?